middle of my head was incomplete for like two weeks <laughs> three weeks hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel what's happington today you all know my title what it is it's a get ready with me i'm trying to look a little prom ish i would just like to shout out that i've collaborated with a designer called yelena jan on instagram she's a fellow yelena so it's like a Yelena X Yelena collaboration to give you this prom edition of a get ready with me. So I'll just like to big up real quick. I'm gonna link her in my description. I'm definitely gonna post some of her content. And you know, it's good vibes. Guys, I need to address, I need to address. I need to address an issue, y'all. All I want to design on my nose, yeah. I don't know what I did. Listen, I don't know if I dig my nose in my sleep, but this is not cute and I feel like it's getting worse. Yesterday, this scab was not looking this dark and you know, as it's healing more, clearly I was fighting something in my sleep. Fighting, okay? I am completely aware that my hair looks crazy right now, but don't worry. Everything will come together for my good, okay? Well, I already know how this brow situation is good, so I can probably skip through this and come back when it's time for me to do my eyes. I think the look I'm going to be, I'm gonna be like channeling my inner Nicki Minaj. Y'all see how she looked for the Met Gala this year? Oh my god, I think I'm gonna do something like that. And again, I'm channeling my inner Nicki Minaj, okay? Where the barbs at? <laughs> I'm reaching for the Morphe 39E palette. I wanna get some shades of browns up in there, and y'all know there's a lot. So I think this is the palette I'm gonna be reaching for today for my Barbiana. Okay? I feel like I wanna be up here. But, uh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I think I'm gonna start with this shade instead. That is this one right here. So I'm going in really, really lightly. I'm definitely winging it out. I really want my eyes to be having some attention. I'm gonna add a darker shade, perhaps this one right here, just on the outskirts, and I'm using the same brush because it's really not a lot. Now, I know I look like this is gonna be like my first prom ever, <laughs> but I did have my own prom, grad ball as we know it, in the Caribbean some years ago, and let me tell you, I really wasn't that into it. And uh, let me just tell you how the story went, right? So for my grad ball, honestly, there was this concert, right? The concert had nothing to do with the grad ball. This artist called Fred Hammond, I'm not sure if you all know him. Either way, he was coming to Trinidad and he told my parents I wanted to go. And they were like, you have to choose, it's either Fred Hammond or your grad ball. And I was like, I know where my grad ball, I wanna go Fred Hammond. <laughs> Cause I was a fan of his music. He's still do. So they were like, well, all right, cool. Imagine, like what parent puts a child to choose? And what child would choose a concert over their grad ball? Me. Me and my parents, my parents. So I decided to go to the Fred Hammond concert, make sure I get my tickets and whatever, whatever. And I enjoy myself in that concert. But then, Grad ball season came and everyone in my class was talking about it. So I really started to feel out, but I wasn't really taking it on. But when it really started to bother me was when my friends were like, you have to come, you need to come, blah, 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 please come. So I was like, all right, I will ask. And I asked and they were like, did you forget that? We made an agreement and I was like, yes, I know. I did agree to go to the concert over my grad ball, but now I'm wondering if it is I should really consider going to it. You know, now growing up, we didn't really have a lot. So that is why I was given the option to choose. And I choose what I choose. Things end up working out in the sense that 
you know, um, one of my best friends decided to get purchase my ticket. So I just had to see about my hair and what I was gonna wear. Either way, I'm gonna dip into this bronze shade right here and I'm gonna pack it onto my lids. Like that, now I know you're not already seeing it, but don't worry on itself, I'm gonna definitely pack on some pigments over this. I'm reaching for my Sasha Jewels bronze pigment and I'm gonna just lightly pack it over the shimmer shade. I don't know if this camera doing this justice, but no cap. This pigment from Sasha is a vibe. I wanna add a little bit of black on the bottom part of my eye here, but I'm gonna add black eyeshadow. And I'm reaching for the black eyeshadow in the 39A. I'm gonna just touch for like a little bit and I'm just gonna start by like smoking it out immediately. As you see how I've done it here on this eye, I'm gonna do it with the same with this eye and add on a really, really dramatic wing liner. So while I do my face, I'm gonna tell you guys this story. Um, last I said was that my best friend came through, she decided to get me my ticket. I was really, really happy about that, super grateful because I know the arrangement with my parents was that I, I can't. And I still had to worry about hair, makeup, <laughs> accessories, shoes, it works, right? Let me just say, when this decision was made, it was completely last minute. I think it was literally like a week or two before my grand goal, aka prom. There was a seamstress in the neighborhood and she was pretty reasonable. So I went to her and going through the magazines, deciding on what it is I want. Now, I never wanted any kind of princess Cinderella type dress. Guess, guess why I end up here now? Exactly that. I settled on a kind of cream and gold type of dress. It was very, very princess-like, in my opinion. It was definitely, I feel like, you know, thinking about it, that dress was probably giving me like, Belle of the Ball kind of type vibe, like Beauty and the Beast. Thinking back on it, I'm definitely getting that vibe. Oh my gosh. So it was completely Cinderella. Either way, this woman had my dress made in a matter of days, I tell you. Days. I literally collected my dress either the day of or the just the day before. I think I collected it like the day of. And then I had to travel to where my best friend was living. Not directly to her home, but just in the vicinity. And she picked me up. We got ready. Listen to me earlier. I was not into makeup. Not into makeup. I don't understand what I'm saying. Like, I really wasn't into that. Like the night before, my cousin combed my hair. So, based on the style that I wanted, she told me like I would just need like one pack of hair or something like that. It was either a miscommunication or she told me I would have just needed one pack of hair. It turned out. Listen, earlier, it turned out. <laughs> I was in the people ball with my hair not finished. <laughs> Nobody knows that. Well, except only now on my YouTube channel. I bought like one pack because I was informed of one pack. Which I can remember distinctly. I think I was told I could just I just need like one pack. Now my cousin is not a big hairdresser, but she could definitely do hair. So obviously it's it's very easy. It's very very possible to miss average miscalculate you know i really want this kind of updo with curls and everything like that and she was like you're gonna need like one pack of this da, 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 da. and then she did it it was like a kind of like a plat twist type of breed thing that she did and then she added the curlers and then dipped it in hot water but like i said your girl run out of hair didn't have anymore and the middle of my head was incomplete for like two weeks <laughs> three weeks it was it was just about that much because i just kept my hair in that hairstyle where it wasn't this kind of loose one 
curls on top here, everything like that. Yeah, yeah, get a box. Listen, if a fight didn't sue, all my business would have been out in the streets. <laughs> I would have been in big, big trouble if somebody did decide to rough me and my hair that night. But thankfully, my school is not a violent school and we fear the teachers, so ain't nobody was gonna do that. <laughs> like I told you guys, I went into the vicinity for my best friend's sister to come and pick us up, or her mom, somebody, it was one of them, and her older sister did my makeup it wasn't even special but listen to me i thought i looked so gorgeous like you would not believe the way how the tables have turned now i will do my best friend's sister's makeup now i'm the pro and she did my makeup when i was literally 16 17 years of age and i felt like oh my god i look so pretty who would have thought I could look this pretty, blah, 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 blah. And y'all, it was literally face powder from her mom, because my best friend's mom is like probably around my complexion. My best friend's sister is around my complexion. <laughs> so they were using their face powder. Um, they filled in my brows probably with black pencil because that's all everyone knew. And you know, it was that kind of vibe. I did not have my makeup professionally done, but listen to me, I loved it. I thought I looked so nice because I wasn't into makeup one. And even the little I had on, I thought I looked so pretty. Your girl was real feeling she self hunting. Because of how long my dress was, like I didn't even care for these shoes. I could have wear slippers, sandals, nobody would have seen anything. So I honestly do not remember what I wore. In the end, I thought I looked good. I really tried to make sure I enjoyed myself. I saw everyone's dresses and they were so glamorous. They looked so pretty. Had their makeup professionally done, hair professionally done, like the works. And me with my little thing, still trying to boogie and thing, enjoy myself. Um, that night we slept over at my best friend's house it was like a sleepover best way to end the night in my opinion and that was my grad ball i'm gonna set all of this all right guys so i actually started putting on some gems on my face before because i wasn't sure how i feel about this since this is like a sort of iridescent type of black but it looks good. So I'm gonna continue. But so far, so good. What do you guys think about the outcome? How we looking? Now I am definitely mixing things up a bit on my face. So we're not going completely totally Nicki Minaj. We're just channeling our own version. Something that definitely gets extremely annoying is dropping these gems on the floor. Oh my goodness. This is what it's looking like so far. Guys, check me out now. Go on, let me try not down nothing. All right, time for me to put on some earrings. Earrings I have here is from Cross Stitch. They're in Gulf City Mall, I think. They're an extension of Jeans Will, She Rocks, M Kinda, those people. This is what the earring looks like. We're gonna pop it on. Y'all can see the gems on my face. Guys, we're coming together nicely. Nicely. Time for me to put on the outfits and get that popping. It's a two piece. It's a bottom and a top and i don't want to go into too much details because y'all just see it okay let me go get dressed and come back oh my god i'm loving this already the look is complete this is part one of my two piece that i'm wearing y'all gonna get to see it soon Bracelets, earrings, hair. Gem down like my girl Nikki. Thank you so much again to Yelena Jan. 
aka Elena, you all go follow her. Let her know what's good. We support one another here out in these streets. And oh my goodness, it fits me perfectly. I thought I would have had to tack in the waist a little bit more, but it's perfect. It fits perfect. And all I did was just send her my measurements. <laughs> okay, time for us to see the final product. This is the final product, guys. This is one of the ways that I might have probably pulled off my prom or grad wall if I had the chance to. Okay. <laughs>